Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jump into the topics, may I beg you not to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Dancehall artist TJ allegedly shared Shensia in post about loyalty. Red Rat responds to Chris Brown being sued by Green Sleeves for using his lyrics in his song Privacy. Mr. Vegas tell Bounty Killer to leave Alkaline alone. Bojo Bantan makes it clear that he doesn't want to be compared to Bob Marley. And Bounty Killer received death threat over Alkaline situation. So the first thing we're going to talk about his TJ up top boss basically making a post on his Instagram status and a lot of persons are speculating that he is actually talking about Shensia you understand now of course some of you guys are supposed to know that a few hours ago Ramesh also made a post on his Instagram page and that post a lot of persons are speculating that Shensia immature shades off you understand basically him say some people will only love you as much as they can use you their loyalty ends where the benefits stop you understand so basically that is self-explanatory if somebody not getting certain benefits out of you then basically them not loyal to you anymore you understand so because Shensia posts up her new manager to the world you know some people are speculating it's a ramish kind of bitter and that is the reason why he met that post you understand so now we see where tj up top boss goes about and make a post on his instagram status saying all of this because of one girl LOL, so no loyalty no day again with a sad face emoji, you understand? So their TJ come back with the same loyalty argument like what Ramesh had talked about. So some people are speculate, say, you know, a Shensia immature shades of her, but then I also see a next girl name a call up in the mix, you understand, people? But I soon show no all of that. One of the things we can show no for proof that something definitely are going is TJ and Shensia actually stop follow each other on Instagram. Yes, people, I actually go check for see if them still a follow each other Shensia and follow him and him and follow Shensia but the funny thing about it um, up top bar still a follow Ding Dang him still a follow Ramesh Entertainment and Shensia still a follow both of them as well you understand so does up top bar and Shensia stop follow each other so I don't know people you can definitely tell say when people stop follow each other something definitely are going in at the camp so now we're going to get to some of the comments them because a lot of persons are reacting to this post that TJ actually put up you understand so yeah one person left a comment by saying a Kia Shensia him attack cause him never loyal to Ramesh either so I'm more something else you see my people so our next person say so me know Shensia and Ramesh was together and next person say well my cousin make close for Ramesh entertainment appear things him see a go on in a the camp with some zip emoji over the mouth you understand like the person really want to talk about certain things now this is where a person actually make a post and say Anoshensia him attack is the other one well 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 so my theory him left Shaquille for Shensia Shensia left him again and him go take up back Shaquille who genuinely like him she anonymously spoke about it on one of her YouTube pranks so things get sour with Shen and him start publicly on Shaq cause she must give him a chance under the conditions of him cutting ties or strictly business so because of the new relationship the old camp mash up Ding Dang was first nobody else no really I go manage Ding now so him just stay there so up top cut cause him not in the foolishness and I said no all of this for one girl not Shen Shaq you understand and them I said just a theory you see my people but it seems like the social media detectives them over there work you see me everybody are trying to decrypt the post that TJ put up but I can definitely see that there's something going on where it concerns Shensia and up top boss because them did a follow each other obviously them come from the same camp you understand what I say people so I guess what for watch and see how this unfold but the social media people them just over there talk about them can't wait for left work and yo the way all the people them are going that just goes to show you say mix up <laughs> why oh boy anyway people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so now we're gonna talk about mr vegas telling bounty killer to leave alkaline alone you understand and of course you know sir mr vegas imam bounty killer no see eye to eye from longer time even the other day tony mataran did forward out and say you know bounty did that try kill mr vegas career and this and that so you know bounty killer basically ignore mr vegas when he attack not sure if he's going to ignore him this time as mr vegas sent a warning say look bounty killer well him not call him name but we know a bounty matter about zane him basically say um bounty put out album and basically him did a talk about um alkaline album flop and this and that 
him for remember say him I go put out album as well. You understand what I say, people? So I mean the warning we must send to Bounty Killer is definitely one that Bounty Killer should actually think about because if you I got this a man same album flap, I guess you kinda of confident say your album will sell more than alkaline album. Is it my people? And that are the question we want to ask you know when I feel like say Bounty Killer's album is going to sell more than alkaline own. Just let me know if you know think that is going to happen in the comment section. Because of course you know that it is being endorsed by DJ Khaled and you know other top names. I'm pretty sure some man like Buster Rhymes are gonna endorse it as well. So Bounty Killer definitely are gonna get a strength from a lot of persons. So that might actually help him get a lot of sales. But will that be enough for it to sell more than Alkaline Top Press album? I don't know people but Mr. Vegas also made a caption saying the longer liver will see. Big up all the clean hearted people. Gwe would on a dirty heart. Hashtag one love, hashtag one dance all. Me? Now, of course, me love the unity and thing and thing, but somewhere me know say Mr. Vegas is just mad at Bounty Killer because Bounty did try to kill him career. So uh, to me, it is not even more so that he might defend Alkaline, you know, because look how much other artists diss up Alkaline and we don't see some of them people are getting involved, you know. Remember, Tommy Lee this Alkaline. We don't see a lot of them people are getting involved in it. Remember, Massacre this Alkaline. Look how much people this Alkaline is in, but when Bounty diss him, we see man like Mr. Vegas come out. So my mind kind of tell me, say, this is more of a personal thing rather than him a different alkaline. But him kind of do it for make it look like him. Yeah, you, know, you know, understand what I say, people, right? So yeah, but you don't know, say, we still have a big up to Mr. Vegas here. You know, a foundation artist and thing. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And since we're on the topic of Bounty Killer, Bounty Killer is receiving some death threat on his Instagram page. And of course, you know, say, this have to do with the same alkaline situation. Zane, now somebody want them for basically assassinate Bounty Killer. And that is a very serious threat. Now, somebody left a comment on Bounty Killer's page saying, Smaddy can do Bounty where them do the Haitian president. The worst part, you know, Alkaline do ever trouble people. Now, of course, you don't know what they did to the Haitian president. So this person is asking somebody to do it to Bounty Killer as well. Why people, you see how this thing get out of hand. People are wish down dead for other people and them thing there. But now I tell you like, some of them fans here, them take it too far. Even even though I don't agree with certain things about Bounty Killer, do I say Muda never actually wish down certain things for him? Is it my people? So Bounty Killer actually respond to that person and say, We are gonna do your mama and your whole family first, and then you after Batty Beach Fish Tiki Tiki. You understand? Now the person respond to Bounty Killer and say, You're hating an alkaline now, go make you get back your visa. Let it go youth. Cartel a profound for Roach, Rat and be a man. Go talk about that. Leave my family out of this because you might be who you are, but you're not too big or bad, forget it. Yeah? No way I do. So of course that is a clear indication of the person letting Bounty Killer know say look, you will get bullet to you understand. And as I say people, I don't really like the direction where this whole situation will go right about now. Now, Bounty Killer actually respond to the person and say, handicap retarded, living dead, with some laughing emoji, you understand? Now, the person continuously go back and forth with Bounty Killer, but I'm not even going to read no more, because, of course, you know, it's just a back and forth situation. But the thing about this... You know, some person that cost the youth at all, but oh, you have to come from Bounty Page and I wish down dead pan him and all of that. And people, as I say, you know, I feel like said the youth wrong for that. But of course, you know, say some of these vendetta fans, because that person obviously is a vendetta fan, you know. You know, obviously some of them take the thing to heart the way or Bounty Killer style up the youth. And, you know, talk about the youth performance work. Talk about him can perform and the clothes them way my wear. And, yo, you know, see the post them, seeing people. But to see it actually reach this level, Bounty Killer have to know what he is doing because it seemed like some of them fans here were actually doing things for alkaline is it my people and trust me remember said jamaica is not that big the place are open up in our way events are gonna keep stage show are gonna keep dance are gonna keep and them thing so you have to be very careful what you are doing so you know more of the people them don't really take certain things serious if the dance hall artist them of course Make them cause, even though we know say fans love to take up things on them head. But leave in the comments as me say people and let me know where you think about this. So now we're gonna talk about Red Rat responding to Green Sleeve filing a lawsuit against Chris Brown, is it me? So I'm gonna read that article so I understand what I'm going on. And then we can talk about it a little bit. Is it my people? So it says Red Rat says Green Sleeve filed lawsuit against Chris Brown without his knowledge or permission. Legal representatives of Dancehall star Red Rat have alleged that Green Sleeves and the individuals involved in the lawsuit 
against R&B superstar Chris Brown have not been authorized by the DJ to act on his behalf or his interest. In fact, Red Rat's lawyers are alleging that the UK-based Greensleeve Publishing Limited filed a lawsuit against Chris Brown without proper grounds to act. We were surprised at the lawsuit. We were actually shocked. Greensleeve acted without knowledge or permission from Red Rat and we thought that their move was a bit presumptuous and beyond their rights and jurisdiction. Their actions have not been sanctioned by Red Rat or anyone positively associated with Red Rat. New York-based attorney at law Merrick Damar told Dancehall Mag, press whether there may be a counterclaim filed in the U.S. court soon. Damar said, everything is on the table Anything is possible at this time. We're considering all legal remedies at this point. We're going to ensure that Red Rat rights are protected to the fullest so everything that is possible legally and is viable will be pursued. Greensleeve is suing Chris Brown and his Manhattan-based record label Sony Music Entertainment for $1.5 million US dollars, alleging that Brown ripped off the lyrics from Tight Up Skirt to create privacy, single and music video which were released in 2017. Tight Up Skirt was recorded in 1997 by Red Rat and produced by Andrew Bradford for the Opera House label. Dancehall Max spoke with Bradford last week, who is also a dancehall DJ Buccaneer, and he was surprised by the Greensleeve lawsuit. I did license it, tight up skirt to VP Records and Greensleeve them time there. At that time, they were two separate companies a couple years ago. Red Rat called me about the tune. Red Rat told me that VP owned the master's rights, but as far as I know, in the 90s, we producers never used to license exclusively to Greensleeves and VP, he told Dancehall Mag. I have to get a lawyer and go through the contracts and know what is what, Buccaneer added. So yes, people, I'm not even going to read out the full thing. Now, basically, Red Rat, you know, him feel like the Greensleeves, them kind of up to no good with this whole lawsuit against Chris Brown because Red Rat did actually speak about it some time ago and him did glad say Chris Brown did actually use a line from his song, is me? He was cool with it and it's not even the first song Chris Brown actually used the whole tight up skirt in her. But I think because him do it so much in this song privacy, them feel like him basically jack the whole song for me this. You get what I'm saying, people? But what I'm asking, if Greensleeve actually owned the rights to the song, then that would mean that Red Rat wouldn't have any say in this, right? even though him sing the song or regardless who own the rights you still have to link the artist who actually sing the song I don't know people let me know in the comment section but at the end of the day Red Rat seemed like him did cool with Chris Brown doing this so him feel like a green sleeve just basically a try pull a fast one you get me but let me know where anything about this in the comment section so the final thing we're going to talk about is Buja Bantan doing an interview Zine people and basically was talking about Bob Marley him talk about a lot of things but Buja Bantan he, he doesn't want to be compared with Bob Marley. So why well, read the next thing quick and fast and then we can talk about it a little bit. There's more people. So in the interview with Zane Law and Apple Music, Bantan spoke candidly and openly about several topics, including the comparison between himself and Bob Marley. The comparisons often rest with lyrical content and quality of music, but they heightened in 2019 when Bantan filled Jamaica's National Stadium to capacity at his homecoming concert. The only other artist to achieve that feature was Bob Marley, who in 1978 with his One Love Peace concert filled all the stadium 35,000 seats. Low asked Bojo Bantan, there is a name that people keep aligning you to with respect. Every time people draw some kind of parallel with you and the great Bob Marley, what does it say to you as a human being? I always think in my mind to be compared to a great man like Gang is an honor, more than a privilege, but I need the opportunity to be me, Bantan responded. I am a living, breathing, walking man under the face of my father's son, so allow me to be me, because if man cannot do what other great men have done, he may as well die. I have learned that I could not have seen my shadow in a running water, so when the water stood there in my shadow, that's not an easy road, the artist added. Interestingly, Marley and Bantan have another little-known connection that goes way back. During an interview with Essence magazine last year, Bantan recalled a chance to encounter with Bob Marley at the age of six or seven years old when the gang had stopped at his mother's stall to buy cigarettes. So yes, people, as you hear what Buju Bantan say, it is an honor to be compared to a great man like Bob Marley, but him just want a chance for actually be himself. You see me? Now, of course, you know, say Buju Bantan, based on the type of music them way, him do positive music and stuff. So that is the reason why a lot of persons compare him to Bob Marley and thing. You see it? And to be compared to Bob Marley, it's definitely a good look. 
but the artist just want a chance for him to come set him own foundation and thing. Is it? So, yeah, people, that's it. You know. Let me know what you guys think about this. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. And people, may I ask you to kindly for check for make sure that the notification bell is on all. That way, when I drop a new video, you get the notification same time. Is it me? If you don't depend on all, you go get notifications sometime. Is it me? Bless upon yourself and keep safe. I'm out.